Hey everyone, Alice here and welcome to the reading. So this is a pick a card reading, but this is a yes or no um, reading. So I haven't done this for a while and I felt drawn to do it. So here we are going to answer your yes or no questions. Now it's not like, it's a little more than just like shaking the magic eight ball and seeing what comes out. Um, we're going to get an energy um, of what the situation is. And from there, we're going to use cardomancy to see if it's a yes or if it's a no or if it's a soft yes or a soft no and kind of see why in a sense, like, like we'll get a little bit more information about that and, um, and, and, and that, that will be it. I will do 12. So we'll do one to 12. You can pick however you want. You can go by your sign. If you want to go by the order of where your sign is in the Zodiac, or if you're just feeling lucky, like with your numbers, maybe you have a lucky number or something along those lines. If you know, maybe it's your life number. You want to, um, find that if you, if you want to know what your life number is, you take your, your date of birth and you reduce it, right? So you add it all up. You, you add your, your month, um, the, the number of your month, the number of the day you were born and the year you add that up and then you deduce it. So whatever it ends up being, you add each number up. Like, let's say if it ends up being like the numbers all together, 2000, 2034 or whatever, then you would add two plus zero is two plus three is five plus four is nine. And then that's your life number nine. Okay. So you can even do it by that. Um, uh, but that's what we're going to do here. I know I talked a lot about that. Um, if you'd like to know more information about me and my readings, you can check out the description box below. There should be all the information there. Um, just keep in mind that this is a general reading, so not everything is going to apply to your situation. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. That's why we're doing the, um, the, the see what the situation is. From there, you can kind of gauge if this is your situation or not. If it's, if it's not resonating with you, then maybe pick another number here, or maybe it's future influence and, you know, maybe it's something that hasn't really come to pass or you, maybe you haven't noticed or maybe it's just something that you don't know about the situation that you're asking about. All right. Um, this is a timeless reading. So whenever you find it is when you are meant to find it. So we're going to get the, we're going to get all the energies out for you to pick from. If you would like to pick this way, if you just want to pick one through 12, then you can just fast forward, um, there already. Uh, if you don't want to like see me shuffle and all that, I mean, that's cool. Um, I understand, but yeah, we're just going to go through one through 12. Okay. And we'll get what the situations are and then I'll just see you, um, at your reading. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So if you want to pick this way, then, oops, sorry, I'll leave this here for a moment. You can pick this way if you want. If you want to like shut your eyes and like pick that way, or you just want to mellow out, meditate, and decide, then you can do that way. Um, but I will see you in your reading. All right. Welcome. Uh, if you picked number one, then this is your reading. I think if your question, you would, you should have already thought of it. Um, I know I didn't really mention it, but so we're going to answer yes or no. So let's see what the situation is. What is the energy here? Seven of cups in reverse. Um, it's confusing. <laughs> I know you're probably like, Alice, yes, I know it's confusing. Well, I mean, that's here. The energy here is this is confusing. Um, it could be that you maybe have too many options. So you're like, I don't know what to do. So maybe you're asking about what choice should I make? Um, because maybe you've got a lot of options. Um, maybe you don't have that many options. It, it feels like it has something to do with options. I know that sounds very vague. These are going to be very vague. Um, but 
yeah, just something to do with, I got options. I don't know which one's the right one. Um, is it what I think it is or not? I don't know. It's confusing. All right, let's see. Let's answer your yes or no question. Seven of spades. Mm, queen of spades. I can already tell you it's a no. If you just want to know the answer, I can tell you it's a no. Yeah, it's definitely no. Sorry. Because I can see that. Two of spades. Yeah, it, it, is, it is a hard no. Um, the seven of spades here, this is just, it's, the seven of spades isn't great. I'm not going to lie. Um, it can be just bad luck here. It, it could just be, but it, it just feels like it's just not going to go your way. It's just no, no, it's not going to go your way. Um, there's just some sort of bad luck, some sort of misfortune here. Um, it could have to do with this queen of spades. Um, there is somebody here. This is somebody who could be very cold, kind of mean, to be honest. Um, yeah, kind of an asshole, not gonna lie. I don't know if that's you. I mean, you could just be acting this way, acting really cold here. This is somebody who They might act out from their emotions, like, I don't know, maybe they're jealous or they're angry or they're upset. I, I don't know what the emotions are, but it could be that they have some sort of resentment or, or grudge and maybe they're taking it out on you or you're taking it out on somebody else here. Um, yeah, there's, there's, uh, it does feel like a grudge here with the two... The two of spades. Something happened here. It could be a breakup and somebody's not happy about that breakup. And there, it looks like resentment here. Uh-huh. I'm just gonna say somebody's just not happy. Look at that. Arms crossed. Arms crossed. This queen is... I was gonna say swords, but yeah. Queen of spades. This queen of spades is just not happy. So it's a no. Yeah. Okay. That's what I got for you. Um, so thanks for watching. Uh, you can try another, uh, if you have another question, you can try another group, um, but that's what I've got. So thanks for watching and I will talk to you later. All right, if you pick number two, then this is your reading. So let's see, let's see what the situation is. Uh, five of wands in reverse. <laughs> Drama. There might've been an argument here or some sort of um, not seeing eye to eye with somebody, which usually is, it leads to some sort of argument, disagreement here. Unnecessary, petty, drama, bullshit. That's what I got for you. All right, so let's answer your question. Yes or no? Yeah, the five of clubs. <laughs> I, I, all I got from that was I'm running as fast as I can. <laughs> okay. Yes, yeah, seven of clubs. Just running my butt off. And the ten of diamonds. So I will tell you that this is very likely a no. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie. Um yeah, I, I get like, so there's something about some sort of action that has been taken place here. Something like that has happened. Um, it could be something physical. I don't know if this is a physical fight. There could have been a physical fight. Somebody could have thrown a punch or thrown something. And so that's a no here. Um, it could have something to do with work. 
though. So there seems to be something that has happened and it's work related. I don't know if it was at work or if it's because of work. Um, yeah, because this is the the occupation card. I do feel there is a bit of um, something might have been caught on camera, you know, caught in 4K or whatever um, here. So that might have been what the action was that somebody took a picture or something was like maybe uploaded online, uh, something along those lines. Um, it does feel money related, but it's also about taking responsibility as well. Yeah, something to do with taking responsibility here. Somebody needs to take responsibility for whatever this action is. I don't know if they are or not, but I'm just telling you the answer is no. All right, <laughs> that's your reading. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, you can always check out the other readings if you have another question. Um, but that's what I've got for you. So thanks for watching and I will talk to you later. All right, three. If you picked number three, then this is your reading. So let's just get to it. Queen of Cups or Queen of Hats. That's the energy here of the situation. Emotions. Somebody's got some, some, somebody's feeling something here. This can be love. This can be somebody who's feeling love and emotions, or it's just somebody who is understanding is being understanding of feelings wanting to be close wanting that emotional intimacy wanting to to talk about it like hey let's talk about your feelings let's have a heart to heart here or just somebody that feels like it can be like they feel like something's wrong like they just have a feeling i got a feeling Ooh. yeah no they just got a feeling um about something here it's not even like it is. It is your intuition, but it, it's, yeah, it, it's emotional empathy. Okay. So let's answer your question. Yes or no? Yes or no? of spades the four of spades <laughs> and the six of spades whoa this is a no this is a hard no here yeah my battery is dying and so is my heart uh, I feel that more healing needs to happen here and whatever this situation is I feel there's sadness here there's heartbreak here somebody's not over something here there needs to be more healing i feel like somebody has been healing but they need more they, they need more healing um mm -hmm. um i feel like whoever this is they are moving on it's just they need more time they need more time to move on um so it's like in it's like a work in progress. Whoever this is, um, just needs more time to get over whatever this is. You know, time heals all. So if you are this Queen of Cups and you're feeling like you have a feeling like something's wrong, um, then that might be correct. But whatever your question is, the answer is no. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, Okay, so that is what I've got for you. I'm sorry. I, like, it sounds like a downer. Um, this feels like a downer. So uh, if you have another question, you can check out one of the other readings um, if you would like. But if not, then that's it. Um, thanks for watching, and I will talk to you later. All right, four. If you picked number four, then this is your reading. So we'll get into it. What is the situation? What is the energy of the situation? We have the six of wands. Ooh. There's something here. Um, I don't know. Somebody here feels like um, they've been working hard and 
they it's not that they deserve success it's not an entitled it's like they're being recognized for their hard work somebody here has been doing something here and they feel like either i should be recognized for my hard work i've done a lot or they are being recognized for that hard work it's more that they are being recognized here there's a recognition going on here um it can just be people paying more attention to somebody um, or somebody's paying more attention to somebody else because they've been working hard. I am getting a little bit like, you know, somebody has some sort of talent and people are paying attention to that talent or you are being drawn to somebody who has some sort of talent or ability here. There's just somebody, I, I can't tell who's who because it's very general, but somebody is paying attention to somebody else and it's because of what they've done. Okay. So let's answer yes or no. We'll answer your question. Queen of Spades. Ace of Clubs and the Three of Hearts. Okay, I'm gonna tell you that the answer is no. Um, I don't know who this is. There's somebody here who's acting kind of cold, and that seems to be why the answer is no. Somebody is being a little overly sensitive about something here. Um. I don't know why like there's something there's something new that's happened here like somebody's got like a new idea or something maybe their idea maybe they feel like it's stupid or something I don't know somebody's being really mean here like somebody has a new idea or like a new job or a new new something new project some something new that they're working on here and I almost feel like this queen of spades is like poo-pooing on the parade. Like, I don't know. She's just, I don't like this queen of spades. She's being kind of a bitch. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm saying she because it's a queen. I don't know if it's female or not. It's just energy. Um, but she's kind of being kind of nasty here about something new. It's like not even like giving it the time of day here. Um, it's like, yeah, like I feel whatever this ace of sp <laughs> this space, this ace of clubs is, well, yeah, ace of spades. I think it's a problem for this queen of spades, but whatever this ace of clubs is, it's not bad. Like the thing is, it's like somebody has, has achieved some personal success, some personal achievement. That's what I get here with the, the six of wands. Like they could it could be you or somebody else, but somebody is like, hey, you know, I did good here. You know, I'm celebrating something. It's not big. It's something small. Like, it's something personal. Like, like, woohoo, I, you know, I did something. I complete, I, I, woohoo, I finished the, like, 5,000 piece puzzle, puzzle. Like, yay. And it's just this queen of spades is just kind of being nasty about it for, I, I don't know why. I don't know what her problem is. But yeah, the, the answer is no. Whatever, whatever your question was. Okay, um, so that's what I've got for you. Um, you can always check out the other readings if you have another question. Um, but if not, then that's what I've got for you. So thanks for watching. Um, take care and I will talk to you later. Okay, five. So if you picked card five, then this is your reading. So let's get into it. What is the situation here? Uh, what's going on? Ace of Flamingos or the Ace of Swords. Ooh, truth. Somebody here has either they've spoken some truth, they've revealed some truth, or somebody is realizing something like um, having like a, an aha moment. Like, ooh, like, wow, like I, I, I just had this realization. I've just seen something here. I realized the truth. I see the truth. I see what's going on. Um, or they were told what was going on. Somebody, somebody told them some truth here or yeah, or they expressed this truth being honest. 
It's honesty, basically. All right, let's see. Um, let's answer your yes or no question. Okay, the seven of spades. Six of clubs. And the four of clubs. Okay, so this is a no. Um, why is it a no? Has something to do with some sort of communication. Definitely. I mean, Ace of Swords is here. Um, it can be that there's something like it doesn't, it's not what it seems. Because that Seven of Spades, I'm getting like somebody's being kind of delusional here, like. Or they're obsessing. It's either they're being delusional or they're obsessing here about wanting to have good communication. Like, like it's like maybe the communication was good before or there was forward movement before it felt like that. But now it's turned into this like kind of like obsessive delusional type of energy here. Um, when it's like it has something to do with communication. Like wanting or having like stable communication especially when it comes to things like texting um like things online communication like uh, dms um texting email that type of communication especially like phones like using your phone type of communication okay yeah okay something about being honest all right that's what i've got for you um, yeah, okay, um, uh, if you, uh, have another question, you can check out, uh, one of the other, um, groups, uh, but if not, then that's where I'm gonna leave you, so thanks for watching, um, take care, and I will talk to you later. All right, six. If you picked card number six, then this is your reading, so let's get to it. What is the situation here? two of pentacles in reverse um it could be that somebody feels like they've made a mistake that they have paid attention to the wrong thing here prioritizing the wrong thing it doesn't even have to be the wrong thing it just could be like prioritizing one thing over another and that seems to be what the situation is it's like not being able to multitask not being able to juggle two things or two or more things at once inevitably somebody here is paying more attention to one thing than another thing okay so let's answer your question yes or no i feel like i have to warn you take this with a grain of salt i don't know why i've never I didn't say that for any of the other ones, but for you, for some reason, I felt that I needed to say, take this with a grain of salt. Like, I don't know your situation, right? So we have the King of Diamonds, Homer Simpson. We have the Four of Diamonds, Captain America. Hmm. Now we have the seven of spades. Yeah, so this this is a yes. Um, there's a little bit of shade here, but it's mostly yes here because of this king of diamonds. Um, this is just somebody who's being very understanding here of... Well, yeah, they're being understanding of something here. Um, like they... It's like they know. I'm getting a lot of protective energy though here, especially masculine, divine masculine protective energy here. Um, especially when it comes to either protecting their money, protecting their family, or just protecting like themselves, like their thoughts and what in their feelings and stuff like that. 
Yeah, I just get somebody who's just being very protective. A little closed off, not gonna lie. It does feel a little closed off here. With that seven of spades, it's like, I don't think that this is what you wanted. I, I don't, that, I think that's why I said take this with a grain of salt because that seven of spades makes it feel like, okay, yeah, this person's being very protective, but are they being too protective? here maybe you don't want them to be that protective um because it kind of feels like maybe you feel like you're losing this person or there's some sort of loss here it could be that whatever this person's prioritizing it's not you or it's not like in your favor and yeah so i mean this person it does feel a little selfish i'm not gonna lie this person does feel like they're being a little selfish and they're just protecting their own interests here and i think that that's where that seven of spades is coming from it's just it's just unfortunate like they don't want to lose something here so they feel like they need to protect it okay so that's what i've got for you um thanks for watching you could check one of the other readings if you have another question um, but if not then i'll leave that here for you so thanks again for watching um, take care and i will talk to you later all right seven if you picked card number seven then this is your reading so let's get into it what is the energy around the situation king of flamingos or the king of swords could be an air sign, um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Uh, this is somebody here who has high standards. Yes. Somebody here who has high standards. I get kind of a boss type of energy here, but somebody here who makes the decisions. This is somebody here who feels like they're the ones that make the decisions. Almost like they're the one that is like in control here. Like this person, whoever this is, feels like they should be at the top because, you know, they're they like, they think kind of highly of themselves. Like I'm so smart, you know, I'm smart, so I should make the decisions because, you know, I can think logically, I'm intelligent and I make good decisions here, so I should be the one that makes the decision. Okay, so I've got. All right, let's see, let's answer your question, yes or no. Yes or no. I just realized I was using this deck and this is one of the only tarot decks that I have that also have cartomancy on it. I did not mean to do that, but I just realized that. Uh, come out. Okay, we have the Jack of Hearts. We have the Eight of Diamonds, this owl. And then we have the queen of clubs. So oh, there's people here. This is a, a yes. There's a little bit of shade here, but it's mostly yes. And it's yes because somebody here is following after their heart. This is somebody here who is, they are feeling intuitively, I'm going in this direction. Um, they feel like this is a good um, use of their time here um yeah I, I mean whoever this is they feel like yes this is this is a good use of my time you know i should be doing this i feel something here you know i feel like this is the right direction for me to go in and yeah uh, i mean i get that here uh with the queen of clubs um this it could be that somebody here is like doing something social. Um, it could have to do with um, going out, going to a party, hanging out with people, talking to people, being social, um, and just having like a good time, basically. Okay. Um, 
that's what I've got for you. Um, so thanks for watching. Uh, if you have another question, you can check out one of the other readings, but if not, then that's what I've got for you. Thanks again for watching. Um, take care and I will talk to you later. All right, eight. So if you picked card number eight, then this is your reading. The sun is out. So, <laughs> um, we'll just get into it. Oops. We'll just get into it. So what is the energy here? On the situation, we have the Six of Swords. I feel like the energy here is somebody who wants to get out of a sticky situation. Something that has been going on and it's like, you know what, I don't want to be in this situation in anymore. It can, it, it feels very temporary. So it's like, I just need to like take a step back, you know, gain some perception, perspective perception yes but gain some perspective clear my head a bit you know somebody just kind of you know I just need to go for a walk and clear my head here it's it feels kind of something like that it's like I just need to get away from a bit I just need to put some distance between um the situation and myself right now for my own sanity that's what I'm getting all right so let's answer your question yes or no Okay, two wants to come out here, so I will take the two. King of Clubs. Okay, that's why. It's very similar energy, so I'll just leave it like that. That makes sense. With the three of spades. Mm-hmm. The eight of diamonds and the two of clubs. So I'm gonna say this is a no. Here, it's a mostly no. Um it's a no because somebody here is hiding shit. There's a king of clubs here who the king of clubs is very outgoing, very charismatic. Um, you know, the king of clubs can be, can seem like magic. They're very convincing, but they are hiding something with the three of spades. Something is not what it seems to be about this king of clubs they could just be faking it you know they could just be faking their confidence um or it could be more than that they could be lying here but i feel with this eight of diamonds that there's some sort of like insight that has happened here um almost seeing through the facade here somebody sees through this facade here they they have seen through it here um it could be whoever wants to get away from this they're trying to distance themselves between the, themselves in this situation because you know they've been seen through this person this this king of clubs has been seen through and i feel like this has something to do with some sort of social situation here. Um, I feel like somebody told somebody about this King of Clubs. Somebody was like almost warned about this King of Clubs. Um, there was some sort of communication going on here that has sort of opened somebody's eyes to that maybe this King of Clubs isn't acting as honestly as they could be. Or it's not as... There's something wrong with it. Something isn't what it seems to be. Okay. So that's what I have for you. Um, if you have another question, you can check out one of the other groups. Um, but if not, then that's what I've got for you. Thanks for watching. Uh, take care and I will talk to you later. All right. Nine. So if you picked card number nine, then this is your reading so we'll get into it so let's see what the energy is with the situation we've got the ten of wands here okay so something is about to break here this ten of wands is like okay enough is enough something needs to happen here you know there's a lot of issues there's a lot of problems here with whatever this is it's becoming a burden it's becoming too much and enough is enough that's what i'm getting okay let's see 
Yes or no? What is the answer to your question? We have the two of spades. We have the three of clubs. And we have the king of clubs. Yeah, this is a no. Whatever this is, it's a no. Um, it's a no because there's a decision that needs to be made that hasn't been made. And I think that it hasn't been made. It kind of seems like somebody's trying to use their best judgment here. So they haven't made a decision yet um, because they're trying to use their best judgment on, you know, what the situation is here. Um, you know, they're trying to, yeah. This king of clubs. I don't know who this person is. But this king of clubs can be quite convincing, quite influential. And that could be part of this sort of stalemate type of energy here. Um, somebody who can't make a decision here because the, the king of clubs is very convincing. Um, also very egotistical as well, arrogant. So it, it can be even like maybe somebody is like, well, I don't want to make a decision because I don't want to upset the king of clubs here because the king of clubs when king of clubs is upset he's he has a temper he has a temper problem so he could have a temper problem if things don't go his way um so it could be you know i'm not going to decide right now because i don't want to make this king of clubs upset um so it's like okay i'm trying to use my best judgment here i'm trying to do what makes sense so that's what i'm getting here so all right. So that is uh, the reading. That's what I've got for you. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you have another question, you can check out another group. Um, but if not, then that's what I've got for you. So thanks again. Take care and I will talk to you later. All right. 10. So if you picked card number 10, then this is your reading. So let's just get into it. Let's see what the energy is like for your situation possibly so we have the knight of pentacles in reverse or the knight of oysters in this deck somebody here is being very careful very careful um careful about especially their actions what they do trying to tread lightly here this can be somebody who feels like they have to walk on eggshells around um whatever the situation is being very cautious, overly cautious even here to the point that it can become a little bit of a stubborn energy of like, okay, so like you're not, you're not doing anything here to the point, like it, it can get to the point where nothing is happening, you know, like when somebody's being so overly cautious that they don't even do anything, you know, they don't, they don't move forward. They don't take any risks because they're being a little too careful. Okay, that's the energy. All right, so yes or no, let's answer. What is the answer? Yes or no? So we have the three of diamonds, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, even though squeezy spelled wrong. <laughs> now that I pointed it out, you can't unsee it. We have the Six of Diamonds. And then we have the Ten of Diamonds. I will say this is a yes. This is overwhelmingly yes across the board. You can't really see because of the sun. Here, I'll put that there so you can see it. Even though it's like all over the place, but okay. Tens, tens, tens across the board. Why did that pop up? Uh, yeah, it's a yes here. Um, it's a yes because there's already been a foundation here built um, here. So that means whatever 
the question is like whatever's going on here is a yes because something has already been started here there's already some sort of solid foundation here um that was it came from the six of diamonds which is uh equal give and take that's why there's a there's a solid foundation because i don't know like the, the parties that are involved here there has been an equality here on what has been given what has been taken it's been very mutual i get there's it's been very mutual very equal here um you know kind of getting along i guess you could put it that way um things kind of working in harmony here and that is the basis of this strong foundation so yeah it's a yes because there's a strong foundation here i'm also getting um that you know there is success here as well like this has been proven to be successful so it's like so yes i mean i guess that's why it's a yes because there it's already been successful here so why wouldn't it be successful is what I'm kind of getting here. Okay. <laughs> so that's what I've got for you. Um, it's kind of a weird reading to me, to be honest, because it makes me wonder, why did you ask the question? Because I don't know what the question is, but what I'm getting here is, yeah, duh, of course. That's what I'm getting. I don't know what your question was, but <laughs> it's just like, of course, duh. So I, I, I don't know. I, I, I'm sorry if that's like kind of like, okay, but that's just, okay. Anyways, that's your reading. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, if you have another question, you can check out one of the other uh, readings, uh, one of the other groups. But if not, then that's where I'm going to leave you. Um, thanks again for watching. Take care and I will talk to you later. All right, 11. I just love Stranger Things. Yeah, okay, 11. This is your uh, reading if you picked card number 11. So let's get into it. Let's see what the energy is like for the situation. Three of wands. In reverse, or I was like, what are what is that? Is, yeah, they're wands. It's like pepper mills. It's really sunny. Okay. Um. Yeah, delays. Whatever's been going on has been delayed been delayed there have been delays some setbacks here um things haven't moved forward yet um yet i feel like they will eventually but just things have there, there's been some hiccups here um yeah i don't know what the hiccups are but there have been some hiccups it could be somebody has been hesitating um they were go they were going to do something and then at the last minute they're like oh maybe i i won't do it and they've kind of delayed this. I do feel it's eventually going to happen, whatever this is, but it's just like somebody or something has delayed it. So let's see, let's answer your question, yes or no. Okay, we have the king of clubs. I don't know why I'm drawn to that little tiny rabbit in the hat. We have the five of hearts. Okay, and then we have the five of spades and the three of spades that came out together. Um, it is a no. This is a no. This king of clubs. I feel like somebody's somebody's manipulating things here. That's why that's why I'm like that's why I was drawn to the fucking rabbit coming out how somebody's playing a trick here. Somebody is yeah, somebody's playing some sort of trick here. Some sort of game here. They're like was it misdirection? It's like, look over here while I do something over here. Uh, I don't really like that here because I feel like they're playing with somebody's heart. The five, the five of hearts, this can be like, look at it. It's a bleeding heart. This is like tied up with jealousy here. Mm. 
This is tied up with jealousy. Somebody who's just kind of only concerned for themselves, to be honest. This is very selfish energy here. Um, it could be somebody here who is jealous about... I don't want to say it, but if it's a relationship, it's like there's an ex who maybe doesn't like um, the new person that somebody's dating and they're just really jealous here and but they're acting like they're not that's the thing there's an act going on here that king of clubs is putting on a show they're putting on a show they're acting like everything's fine like i'm cool with it i'm fine but they're not this person is jealous this person is <laughs> they're just they're just acting in their self it's it's just fucking lies and lies and lies and lies there's so much lies and deception here, it's crazy. I do feel like it probably, like with, uh, see the three of wands, it, it's delaying things. It's slowing things down in whatever the situation is. This energy, whoever this is, they gotta cut that crap out. It's not good energy. It's negative energy, it's not good. You shouldn't be acting like this. I mean, if something didn't work out for you, you know, it's just, I wouldn't get jealous about it. And I mean, this, there's somebody who's just hiding this, they're, they're hiding it. It's not helpful for them though. I mean, I understand people can't help how they feel. I feel like this is completely, whoever this King of Wands is, this is completely different than how they felt before. Um, that five of hearts, that's a change of heart here. Like, I don't think they felt like this before. It's like completely different here and they're hiding it. Okay, well, 11, <laughs> that is the reading that I've got for you. Uh, so thanks for watching. Uh, you can always check out one of the other groups if you have another question. Um, but if not, then that's what I've got for you. So thanks again for watching. Take care and I will talk to you later. All right, 12 here. So if you picked the last card, card number 12, then this is your reading. So we're going to get into it. What is the energy of the situation? <laughs> Thanks. Two of Wands in reverse. Somebody here is undecided. Somebody here is like, I don't really know what to do next. Um, it's, it's really up to somebody's free will here, whatever this is. So I'm not really quite sure how the question will go, the yes or no question. But the energy here is it can go either way. So whatever I say here, yes or no, just remember it probably, and it might, I don't know probably, but it, it could switch. It could switch around. It could go either way um, because somebody here has not decided what they're going to do yet. So once they decide, then yeah, but they haven't decided yet. I don't know who, you, somebody else, I don't know. Okay, yes or no, let's answer to the best of my ability because I feel like it's going to be a little weird. <laughs> Let's see. Yes or no? Okay, we have the Eight of Spades. We have the Two of Clubs. And we have the Five of Hearts that was sticking out there. Um, I mean, it's a no for now. <laughs> I'm going to say that. It's a no for now because it's a no for now because right now somebody is feeling like they've made a mistake. Um, or there, there's some sort of remorse going on here. Like somebody here is kind of disappointed in their actions. They're disappointed in what they've either said like in a conversation that they had or in something that they did like in a social situation. So they're kind of disappointed right now in how perhaps they've acted or disappointed in something to do with hanging out or going out with somebody or people or whatever. There's some, there's some sort of like, I feel like I've made a mistake. I feel really disappointed possibly in myself for that here. Um, I feel like this person, whoever this is, um, 
was just kind of, they, like they weren't really how did I put this um like their emotions about their feelings about the situation keep going back and forth like they're not sure how they feel about the situation as a whole like they're like, I, I can't I don't know how to explain it like with the three the three why did I say three there are no threes here <laughs> <laughs> the five of hearts but I was gonna say yeah the three of hearts five of hearts you know this the three of hearts is all about having feelings that are growing right changing that's what this is this five of hearts are changing feelings I feel like uh, this can be changing how somebody feels about a situation perhaps this person didn't expect to feel so badly like to feel disappointed about what has happened here um regarding some sort of social situation so yeah that's why it's a no um but remember it can change so i yeah i don't know it's difficult because this person who's the, the situation is undecided like really undecided it's in flux so that's what I've got for you. I'm sorry, it's not anything better. Um, if you have another question, you can check out one of the other groups. Um, but that's what I've got for you. So thanks for watching. Um, take care and I will talk to you later.